here I am going to discuss about Wheatstone Bridge Principle. So what is Wheatstone Bridge Principle? It says if we have a system of resistors connected to a circuit in such an arrangement and if the ratio between these two resistors is equal to the ratio between these two resistors then A and A potential becomes same. So we say the bridge is balanced. Okay. So I can write if R1 over R2 is equal to R3 or R4 then VB is equal to VD. Okay, so that's the Wheatstone bridge principle. So simple. Okay, okay. Now we know A and A potential same. Therefore, what is the potential difference across R5 resistor? It's zero. Therefore, no current is passing through R5 resistor, so we can remove that R5 from the circuit. Okay. Now instead of this R5 resistor, let's replace a center zero galvanometer. So it's easy for us to identify whether the bridge is balanced or not because center zero galvanometer shows zero deflection if no current is passing through it or else deflection either side depending on which direction the current is passing through the galvanometer. Okay, now let's try to prove the Wheatstone bridge principle. For this I consider the total current in the circuit is cathode I. Okay, now let's consider like that. Okay, now this current comes here so it divides consider like I1, I2. So if the bridge is balanced, A and A potential is same, no current is passing through the galvanometer. Therefore, all the I1 current will flow this way to here and I2 flow all the way to here. So here in this junction, we get again I1 plus I2. Therefore, current is I. Okay. Okay. Now let's consider the potential difference across this R1. Okay. So I can write VAB is equal I1 R1 using Ohm's law. So I get VA minus VB is equal I1 R1. Similarly, we can consider the potential difference across R3 resistor. So I can write VA minus VB is equal current total resistance I2, I2 times R3. So that's my equation 2. So if it, now we know VB and VD is same, right? So up here, if you consider these two equations, VB and VD is same, therefore the left hand side side equal therefore I can equate the right hand sides so I get from equation 1 and 2 I1 R1 is equal I2 R3 so this is my equation theory and uh, similarly I can find the potential difference across R2 and R4 so I get across R2 is Vb minus Vc that is equal I1 R2 equation 3 and uh, Vd minus Vc the potential difference across R4 is uh, current through the I2, I2 times R4. So that's my equation 4. And again, if you consider the left hand side, since VB and VD are equal, so left hand sides are equal, therefore I can equate right hand side, so I get my equation capital B. Now, dividing equation A by equation B, I get this result, which is R1 over R2 is equal to R3 over R4, with the Winston Bridge principle. Okay, see you all next time with the meter bridge. Bye.